Aaron Cooney, the Coon, is here live in studio. And Aaron, a big week for the Pioneers this week. They start off great, a 2-0 week that was for the Pioneers up at that uh, Lord Amherst tournament. But now things have changed. They got a huge, huge game tomorrow against yeah. a team, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, that they just beat Lockhaven 154-46. to That's over 100. Rough. That's scary. That's tough math, too. That, uh, <laughs> oh, look at this guy. <laughs> but, but, yeah. but this West Liberty team is no joke. No, not at all. Uh, four returning starters from last year. Those four guys uh, made it to the Sweet 16 in the Division II uh, tournament last year. Averaged over 100 points a game last year. Already 150-point effort in the first game. And you know what? Those four starters, they played 14 minutes in that game Sunday before they took them out, put in the other guys. I mean, down the line, all the way down the bench, this team is you know ready to go, loaded. Uh, it's going to be real tough. And this is going to be the real first true test that uh, Point Park has uh, this year. You know, kind of blew out the two teams in that uh, tournament last weekend. Here we go, right here. This is this is where the season starts. We will say that, well, at least I'll say this, though. The Lock Haven isn't a Point Park team. I mean, let's no. put it that way. But when it comes down to it, the Pioneers can put up 100 and might still not even be competitive in this game. I mean, this is a very good West Liberty team. What are some of the things that the Pioneers are going to have to do to try and get this victory? Well, you know what? They're going to have to match them. You, ca you can't go away if, uh, on a possession without any points or turn the ball over. Look at that for the game yesterday, uh, 34 turnovers Lock Haven put up. And, you know, most of those in the beginning, they didn't get a first or shot off until three minutes into the game. So they're going to be, uh, West Liberty's going to be all over them. They like to run a, a full court press. They're going to be on the ball hand like a hobo on a ham sandwich. Not going to get near them. So you, you got to be able to break that press and uh, also, you know, be ready to go the whole time. Be alert. Make crisp passes. No, you know, uh, passes just in a nut where the lanes are taken up, you got to be alert, ready to go, got to be on the top of the game to play against number 12 team in NCAA Division II. And the interesting thing is, too, is the, the styles that clash. The Pioneers like to run the floor, and West Liberty is just trying to do just the opposite mm -hmm. and limit you coming up and down the floor. Let's show you the weekend or the week ahead for the Pioneers. The road ahead, as we like to call it here, the Pioneers, they have West Liberty tomorrow. And you can hear that one live on the MSA Sports Network. That'll be on 7.30 here. You can have myself and Aaron Cooney give you all the live highlights of that one. You can also see that see the game live on the West Liberty website. And then on Friday, the Pioneers play Buffalo State. That's at the Buffalo State Tournament. That one is at Friday at 8 p.m. And that would also be with you and I live on the MSA Sports Network. Buffalo State, though, the Pioneers should be able to win that game on Friday. Yeah, that weekend has got you know, to be a nice change of pace coming off of uh, uh, playing a team like West Liberty. Buffalo should be able to handle them. Uh, they're missing some players coming in for the last season. Uh, they haven't gotten their season started off yet. They, they don't play till tomorrow, their first game. But uh, what I'm looking for from Point Park is really consistency. We, you know, they got the two big wins, yeah, last weekend. But this is the same kind of junction uh, that they met last year where they would just uh, sporadically go off into different roads. And you don't know which Point Park team was going to show up. I'm looking for uh, not only Tuesday, but then in the following weekend, even though one game doesn't count, it would be a scrimmage game, basically. Right. Um, consistency. Uh, will these guys play to the level that we – expect them to be all throughout the season and you know you won't be able to see the highlights next week because we won't be having a show that's thanksgiving but after